So, uh, Nigel, what have we got here? Oh, we've got something called a fire syringe. And what does it do? Oh, well, I'll show you what it does. Some cotton wool in there. Okay. I'm just gonna compress the air in it and hopefully it will. I don't know what it's gonna do. Wow. That's pretty cool. You made a, a spark in there. Was there any source of fire, like a match or anything down there? Well, as you can see, it's pretty transparent. There was no match in there. Um, it was actually just the compression of the air on top of it, um, which was able to ignite the, um, the cotton wool that we had in there. So you're saying if we compress air, we can make it hot enough to ignite cotton? Yeah, by, because air is made up of particles. So when you're actually compressing it, you're forcing those particles to collide closer together, which is actually going to raise the temperature of in the inside of that tube there. Okay, can you describe the apparatus for me? Uh, well, all there is, is there's a glass chamber in there where the cotton wool sits. And as you can see, there's this piston that moves up and down into that glass chamber. And as it moves up and down, you can actually compress the air. So it's like a little plunger. Like a, like a little plunger, yeah. Okay, so uh, why don't we set one up uh, so we can do it again? Can do it again? Okay, I'll clean the remnants out. What are the tricks here? Uh, the trick is to get not too much, but not too little cotton wool. And it's good to get it aerated so that there's a lot of air around it so it makes it much easier to um, ignite, just like a good fire. Is it just me or do you feel like we're on a cooking show? I feel like we're on a cooking show, yes. Who do you think would be Jamie Oliver in this situation? Would it be you or me? Mm, I'm more manly, so... He's more like Nigella Lawson, let's face uh, it. That's a good play on words. <laughs> I wish. All right, we're ready for this? Yes. Simple as that. Obviously, no matches, no switches, no anything. Okay. Um, we'll, we'll try it. Again? You want me to try? You can try it. Yeah, do you, uh, do you have the strength? <laughs> we're going to find we'll out, We'll find we? out. This is going to be awkward. <laughs> Derek, I think. Okay, so what I'm going to try to do is compress the air in there. And uh, by compressing it, I'm going to increase its temperature because we're pushing all these air molecules together. And if I get it hot enough to the ignition point of cotton, hopefully the cotton will catch on fire. Yeah, I've heard that the um, auto ignition temperature of, of cotton is about 400 degrees Celsius. So you can get quite, a, quite enormous amounts of temperature from a very quick compression. Three, two, one. <laughs> Surprise. Beginner's it luck. Worked, yeah. yeah, check that out. So I guess we could generalize and say, if you do the compression quite slowly, then, well, there's time for the heat to escape out of the air. And so we don't actually get a high, high enough temperature to cause the cotton to ignite. Yeah, and there's actually a word for that. It's called an adiabatic compression. That's the one where there's enough heat generated quickly enough so that we can get that auto ignition. Yeah, so an adiabatic compression would be one in which the heat doesn't escape from the gas. Doesn't have the time to. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, well, let's go see if we can auto ignite some other things. Yeah, maybe some hair. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not a good fuel source.